like the sense of peace that I get when you like sort of drop underwater, you, you know, aren't getting emails, you're not getting text messages. <laughs> and I find that really calming and peaceful. I realized that the ocean is a place that is so unexplored and that sort of stoked my curiosity. My name is Antonelle Wilby. I'm a National Geographic Explorer and my work centers around building robots to explore ocean environments. So as a kid, I really loved tinkering with things and building things with my hands. Um, it wasn't until high school when I joined a robotics team that I realized what a career in technology or engineering could look like. I'm drawn to problems that sort of exist at this boundary between like science and sort of exploration and new discovery and technological advancement in the ocean. When a robot is working correctly, um, they have quite a few advantages over divers. They can go to deeper depths. They can go for longer bottom times than a human can. Um, and they can go into more dangerous environments. My research right now is on developing vision-based algorithms for underwater robots. So what that means is we have a couple of cameras on the robot and they're in stereo, so they basically work the same way as your eye works. We get three-dimensional information from those cameras and we can use those, that three-dimensional information to create a map of what we've seen. So as the robot travels in its environment, it's figuring out what, what's around it and building a map of what's around it, and it's also figuring out where it is. We were testing the robot in the pool to make sure everything was functioning before we go and test it in the ocean, which is a more challenging environment. And we realized that one of the thrusters is broken. So we need to replace that, and we're gonna do that before we go and test in the ocean um, to make sure everything's working properly. So we needed to fix something on the ROV, but one of the things I love about this job is I get to fix this thruster when I'm sitting out here right by a beautiful beach listening to the waves, and I really love that aspect of this job. So right now we have robots that are really good at executing a pre-planned mission. You might say, like, I want you to navigate to these 10 waypoints and be taking images or data as you go. But the robot doesn't really know anything about that environment. It doesn't know what's interesting. And so um, that's sort of what I am hoping to bring is these sort of this next generation of underwater robots that aren't just sort of survey robots, but they're actually have some of the same level of curiosity that we have as humans to be able to recognize like that's interesting. That's what I want to go and study. I'm going to like bring back a ton of images about on that so that the humans can go and you know see what this new cool thing that I've discovered. I think robots are the next step of augmenting our human ability to explore. We have this curiosity. We want to know what's there but we can't always get there with our limitations. And robots are a way to extend our reach to satisfy that scientific curiosity.